Today, I'm gonna give you a glimpse of everything that I haul in my truck. You have to be ready for just about anything. And frankly, if you don't have the parts, you could be stuck somewhere for a while or waiting for somebody else who does. And so not only do I carry these parts and tools so that if I need them, but so I can also help other people who might. I'm not going to go over flares or triangles, fire extinguisher, regulations, hazmat. This is stuff that I bring with me to make sure that I get home. So let's take a peek inside and see what some of the essentials are that I bring out here on the road. Spare hoses and lines. These things have wear, tear, and let's face it, I've actually had occasions where just driving on the road and being in those cold temps, stuff can become brittle, so we use Arctic grade. But something as small as a rock can hit your hose line or your airline and cause irreparable damage. And you have to fix it out on the road or you don't get home. So things like this, very important to make it back. An airline, I've got different fittings. I can hook it directly to the truck I can hook it directly to the glad hand and I can replace these and change them out. I've used this hose to get a truck back one time. Met him at Baker's Knob. He was not holding air in his truck. There was an issue with his compressor and I was able to fill him up every 20, 25 miles or so and we would release his brakes and he bobtailed out. I went with him all the way back to Fairbanks and he made it home safely and found the issue wrong with his truck. Airlines. <laughs> Spare parts. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. You can follow more of my adventures and you'll be seeing a video coming up where we actually replaced a shock on the road. It's part of the adventure, right? A bottle jack. Can't tell you how many times we've had to replace tires out there. Whether it's a steer or a drive tire. Drive tires, you can single them out. Steer tires, occasionally, you have to take them off a lift axle of a trailer. It's compact, but it's powerful, and it'll lift the weight of a truck. This is my half-inch impact. I carry this thing with me and a charger to make sure that I always have some semblance of power to get some of these bolts and lug nuts off when I need them, because it is the pain <laughs> to have to do it by hand. Now this bad boy, this is where I carry all my spare parts, fittings, fuses, linkages. In here, I have spare parts for my chains. If I, need it, if I have a broken link, I can fix it. If I have a hose line, I've got coupling devices. Fuses, they're all in here. Hose clamps, glad hand replacement parts, coolant and airline fittings all in here, as well as a few caging bolts of various, various models. I can help these people when they're out on the road or help myself. <laughs> I will make it back. That is the end goal. And the more you're prepared, the better. This is my buddy heater. This piece of equipment is my emergency preparedness for if something does happen to my truck, I'm capable of using it in my truck if I absolutely need to. It'll keep me warm if I ever find myself in a situation where the truck isn't. And make sure you have your backup canisters with you also. Another important part of trucking, not only is that buddy heater an essential tool out here in these colder temperatures, but I've got things like my cold weather gear, my sleeping bag, my winter boots. I'm not gonna cover those in this video. I'll show you the rest of it. But you hit that like button and subscribe, hit the notification bell, you'll see a video like that coming up soon. Screwdrivers, pliers, wire strippers. These are for the hard to reach places that I can't get my half inch impact. Occasionally, you'll need stuff like this so you can get to those bolts. When you replace an airline or a coolant line, yeah, you have your hose clamps to hold it together or you have your fittings to keep it spliced, but these bad boys can come in handy to prevent more damage from happening to it on your way home. Who doesn't need duct tape in their life? You know, it's not always the big stuff, sure, 
you gotta have something larger, but these smaller ones can be useful. In this bag here, I carry some miscellaneous tools. Clippers, pliers, good old wire brush. You know, for, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Screwdrivers, all shapes and sizes. And it's not generally something that you always carry with you, but I have a hose cutter. You don't need as many hammers as I have. However, you lose one, yeah. This is my quick and easy go-to bag. I leave this one out here by the door. In it, I have duct tape, vice scrapes. These are great for clamping hoses. Quick and easy tools. This, little Leatherman quick and easy tools. I got this from a friend. It's come in handy a lot. I'm super grateful. This is to take the lug nut covers off of your tires. This is an interesting one. This here is to adjust your brakes. Oh, kind of a universal tool that's come in handy quite a few times. I'll make a video someday on how to use this. This bad boy is one of my favorite tools. It may look pretty unique, but I would tell you it has a wonderful purpose. When my chains on my tires get really tight, I use this to help me close them so I can latch them even when they're so tight that maybe my fingers can't get it. I love this tool. Flashlight. Anything above the Arctic Circle, certain times of the year, you don't get sunlight. So you always have to have some sort of backup light in order to see what you're doing. I've got quite a few. A few more things in my arsenal. A set of chalks that have a bit of a grip. These come in handy because if you ever have to release the brakes on your piece of equipment, to maintain it to get back on the road, put these underneath your tire. These are nice for peace of mind. So I carry my own chalks. A socket set. Now this is a half inch socket set. I am able to use any of these on my impact and when they're organized like this, it's quick and easy. Sometimes when it's cold outside, gosh darn, you just wanna get back in the truck as soon as you can. And if you're having to dig through a bag to find a seven eighths, Having it organized in a case, it's a useful resource. Torch, valves will freeze. Sometimes you have to warm something up in order for it to move or work properly. This torch has a lock on it. It's not gonna be triggered just by hitting a button. You have to twist it, turn it, hit it in such a way. I keep it secured just in case though. So. I'm gonna get into some awkward tools. This one here. If you've been following my channel, you've probably seen me using this. I blew that tire coming down an old van. By the time I got to the beaver slide, it was the flattest spot I could get before I had to head down that hill. We had to take the tire off there. I used this to wedge in to remove that tire off the frame so it didn't cause any more damage. I really appreciate this tool. I may be out here driving this road, experiencing some amazing things, but I have to think smarter. I have to find the right tools to help me get the job done. Tools like those really help me accomplish that. Here's one that's kind of unique. If you don't throw chains often, you may not know what this is. These are chain pliers. One side is used for breaking the links and opening up parts. The other side is for crimping. So if you come across Grayling Lake area and you had to throw chains for it over that pavement, but a link breaks with your backup links that you've got, your chain pliers, you can fix it and you can get back on the road. You put the link in one side to crimp it and you can open a link on the other side. When it is raining on hard pack, it's best to stay put. <sighs> Unless you have something like a steer chain, this here, you can actually go a little bit further and get to a safe haven or make it out of the nasty. So having a steer chain with you sometimes can be helpful. Somehow, I have to fit all of that under my bunk. Thank goodness I played Tetris as a kid. <laughs> Feeling a little pack radish. But the reality is some of these things I've used them, and I was glad that I had them. Otherwise you're stuck out there where you have to get decked up or call for a tow truck and you do not want to do that. Let's make it pretty.
Here's the moment of truth. Fingers crossed. I'm really happy with this. I was able to fit everything in here. I have the tools that I use most frequently easily accessible to me. It's quite a bit of stuff. It's a lot of information. <laughs> Don't forget to check out those affiliate links below. It really does help support this channel. Keeps us going. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into the essentials that I bring in my truck. Your support fuels this journey. Like and subscribe to follow more of my adventures. <laughs>